hey guys hope you are doing well in today's video we are going to learn about uh, LDAP filters so uh, the reason why we use LDAP filter uh, is because uh, you want to segregate the users based on their geographical location and their geographical clusters CUCM what that means to you is so let's say you have an active directory okay and let's say you have only one active directory across the globe and the users from us emia apac uh, all are located in the same active directory server so now let's say you have core manager cluster across emia apac and us now all these three clusters are different now you don't want the APAC users to be shown in US and EMEA. You may not want the US users to be shown in APAC and EMEA, and you do not want the EMEA users to be shown in APAC and US. So this is uh, the way we control this is via LDAP attributes. So we have to apply some filters on the call manager clusters so that the users are not imported uh, to the clusters that they are not supposed to. So uh, I'll give an example here. So how do we ap apply uh, LDAP attributes? If uh, you want to read the article, you can follow this link, which I'm going to put in the description. So this uh, link will have uh, all the information. What are the kind of attributes you can apply in the call manager? Well, to start with uh, an example. So let's see how many users do we have in the call manager. So when I click on find here, I see there are three users. So let's create a user. Let's create a user called uh, new user. Test one EMEA. Okay, so I'll mention the name as test one EMEA and create a password. Okay, finish. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, sync with the LDAP. Over here, CUCML DAP, and then perform a full sync. Now, this sync will take up uh, around a couple of minutes for the complete syncs to sync to happen. It depends on the database that you have, as I said earlier. So, now let's go and see here. Okay, you see the test one EMEA has appeared here, but this is APAC cluster, assuming that this is an APAC cluster, and you do not want EMEA user to be shown in APAC cluster, right? So you want to control that. So likewise, uh, in order to control that, you have to play with uh, LDAP attributes, basically. So how do we uh, filter or how do we play with LDAP attributes is shown in this website uh, where I have written an article. So basically, what you have to do is you have to create a custom filter in the call manager. And then what you have to do is you have to uh, give this attribute street address as APAC in order for the users to be synced only with the APAC. And you are only going to sync the users who has a IP phone telephone number. So what that means is, so let's say uh, there may be uh, some users who are part of APAC, but they may not have an IP phone assigned. And probably you do not want that particular user to be synced in CUCM because there is no point in um, seeing the user in CUCM if the user is not using any IP phone, right? So if the user is having an IP phone, then only probably you want to see the users in the call manager. Otherwise, you do not want the users to be shown in the call manager. And the next thing is street address. If you modify this to APAC, US, and EMEA, so the users, uh, this filter is going to search for the user who is going to be in APAC cluster and is going to have a directory number or IP phone 
directory number now where do we modify this field so i'll tell you about this in a moment so let's go here in the users field so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, put the address here as emia okay and in the phone number ip phone what i'm going to put is eight let's say eight 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 just a dummy number for example okay i put this in emia cluster uh, in emia region now let's create another one more user as let's say uh, test to a pack okay test to a pack now i'm going to create a password for this user finish now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, put the street addresses a pack so which is going to match with this particular filter that this user is from APAC and I'm going to put a telephone number let's say 8889 for example click on apply now let's create one more user uh, let's assume that the user is from EMEA region test 3 sorry US region test 3 US Okay, I am going to modify this address to US and telephone IP phone number just number okay now uh, we are not yet done so now in in order to you know apply this filter what we need to do is we need to create a filter first so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the call manager and then go to a custom LDAP custom filter and click on add new in this you have to choose a filter name i'll choose a pack lf filter now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this particular information so basically what i'm filtering is i'm applying a filter as street address to be a pack and ip phone can be anything because i have marked as star i'm going to paste this okay click on save now we are still not yet done because we have to apply this filter in our LDAP configuration. Sorry, not here. Yeah, we'll go here in LDAP directory. Now here we have to apply this APAC LDAP filter that we have created. Click on save. Now what we are going to do is we are going to perform this sync. Now when we are syncing this cluster, ideally APAC user test 2 should appear here in the call manager which is this user and test 3 user should not appear in this call manager okay so let's perform a sync okay now I have initiated a sync let's go to the end user it will take a couple of minutes so you see here test 2 APAC has appeared here because we have applied a custom attribute for APAC uh, for this user as APAC and we have given a telephone number and if you see here test one EMEA the user who was part of EMEA cluster you see here with the telephone number this has become inactive so that means this user has is now out of this call manager so in uh, some time when the garbage cleanup happens which happens in the midnight I believe somewhere around 3 a.m. and that time the user will get deleted from the call manager and if you see a uh, US, US APAC use US uh, test user has not appeared here because that's from the US region now I'll give you another example here let's create one more user let's say user test for uh, APAC okay test for APAC now in this case what we are going to do is we are going to uh, put the street address but not the telephone name number okay now ideally this user should not get sync because we have not entered the telephone number so let's try to do a LDAP sync here 
perform a full sync sync initiated okay <clears throat> So you see here, the user is not appearing. So let's verify if the sync is completed. Yeah, sync is completed. And the user has not appeared here. The reason the user has not appeared here because of the LDAP filter we have applied. So if you see here, the LDAP filter, what we have applied is street address equal to a pack and IP phone should be something. So this is the reason this user has not appeared here. So there are instances, let's say you have users in the APAC location who does not have an IP phone, but they are from the APAC location. And in such cases, you may not want the users to be shown in uh, the CUCM cluster. So uh, in such cases, you, are fil you have to apply the filter wisely and <clears throat> you have to make sure that the user does not appear here by applying the right attributes. Now, this is not the only the attributes which you have to apply. So there are other various example. In case, let's say if you want to apply a filter where uh, a user has an email address, then only you want to sync the user uh, with an email address. So in that case, you have to apply this filter uh, that they should, the email should be uh, something, then only the users should get sync. Or maybe uh, you want that user to have a telephone number. So in the above case, we have applied an IP phone uh, if I have to show you here, uh, that was impact, for example, we have applied the IP phone. In case if you want to have a telephone number, so you have to apply the telephone number here. If a user has a telephone number, then the user will get sync. So if you want to play around with the multiple you know, conditions, you can play around and use this uh, filters. And these are the uh, filter operators you can use equal you can use um, and or not greater than less than etc now there uh, are how to get the LDAP attributes so there is some and there is a tool you know from which you can get the LDAP attribute so how do you know like a telephone number or email address the exact uh, attribute name so how, what do I mean to say is let, I'll show you if you go to start ADSI ADIT, if you open this up and click on users and just open this one, sorry, right click and properties. If you click on this, now there are so many attributes, right? And it is not possible for you to remember all the attributes. If you want to filter out some specific attributes, uh, so you can come here and search for the attributes here. For example, let's say I want to filter uh, the attributes that have value, only writable values. So now let's say if I want to uh, filter out, okay, with an IP phone, you see uh, the IP phone uh, field where we have entered 8889, uh, which is this field. This field is, uh, if you see here, currently here it is mentioned as IP space phone. But if you want to know what is the attribute here, so in such cases, what you can do is you can always come here, properties, and you can come here and get to know this is IP phone. There is no space here. Likewise, let's say if you want to filter with the SAM account name or maybe uh, last a surname, this is surname, I guess, SN. So if I come here, click on properties, go to general, and you see last name is APAC. So that's the surname. If I click on properties again, so SN is what is your surname, then street address. So uh, the street address what we have used here is here. So it says street here, but if you go to the attributes value, it will show you the exact attribute uh, name, street address. So likewise, uh, you can you know uh, use this uh, ADS editor and understand what filter you are going to apply uh, so that it will suit your organization, you know, LF filter accordingly. 
So, uh, so this tool is called EDSI Edit. You can just, this is you know, default installed in Windows. You don't have to install it manually. You just need to type EDSI Edit. So this is the filter name. So just click here and then go to the CN users. And then there are so many users. For example, Avinash Kanani here. And you can see these are the filter information. So you can use the filter information and get the attributes name easily. So uh, I hope you like this video and I'm sure you can uh, easily make use of uh, this particular page. And then um, let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Um, thank you for watching this video.